Hi, my name is Dawn, and I'm going to guide you through the Cell La Vie installation process. In order to properly install a Cell La Vie product, it is very important that you watch the whole presentation. First, allow me to introduce you to the Cell La Vie product. Cell La Vie is an innovative patent pending product. The product was created by Wise Environment. Wise Environment Company is focused on manufacturing products designed specifically to protect people against electromagnetic radiation. Cell La Vie was designed to significantly reduce your exposure from cell phones electromagnetic radiation. Cell La Vie new technologies reduce radiation by 98%. Researches show linkage between electromagnetic radiation and an increased risk in getting brain cancer, DNA damage, and other numerous health-related problems. In addition, Cell La Vie protects your cell phone from scratches and damages. Cell La Vie is the only product of its kind in the world. It allows protection to you and your surroundings as it significantly reduces radiation. Cell La Vie was tested by MET Laboratories, a highly respected certification and testing institute of electronic devices located in California. The full test report, as well as further information related to WISE Environment and Cell La Vie products, can be found at www.wisenv.com. In order to open the box, turn the box to the back and lift from the barcode found at the bottom. Now, turn the box to the front and open from the bottom. Inside, you should find the application spray, the squeegee, lint-free cloth, and within the top envelope, you should find the warranty, and inside the warranty, the actual product. Wash your hands with soap and water. Make sure the iPhone is turned off. Wipe down the iPhone with a lint-free cloth. Cut the plastic bag open, making sure not to cut through the product. Take out the front adhesive label from the plastic bag. Spray some solution on your fingertips. The front adhesive has a protective layer labeled as number one, which needs to be removed in order to attach the front adhesive label to the phone screen. Additionally, there is a protective layer on the anti-scratch side, marked as number two. This also needs to be removed after the front part is attached to the phone screen. While removing the backing of the product's protective layer, marked as number one, hold the product adhesive side up and try not to touch the adhesive part as much as possible. Spray the solution entirely over the adhesive side. Do not spray on the iPhone. Start with the bottom part of the adhesive and align with the home button. Use a squeegee and wipe from the center out to remove the bubbles and wipe down afterwards. Now carefully remove the protective layer marked as number two. For the back of the iPhone, the process is almost the same. Make sure you've sprayed your fingers with the spray. Pull the back part of the product with volume button cut out to your upper right, making sure not to bend the product. While peeling the backing off of the product from the top side, hold the product adhesive side up while trying not to touch the adhesive side as much as possible. Now spray the adhesive side with the solution. When placing the adhesive backing, you must align it with the volume button cutout while keeping the flaps aligned with the phone's outline so that the back adhesive will be in correct position, not too high, low, or tilted. Only when this has been achieved, continue with the process of removing the bubbles and wiping the excess solution. It can be helpful to use your palm or thumb to smooth out and attach the product. Before using the squeegee to completely attach the product, make sure that on all sides, top, bottom, left, and right, the product is aligned 
If not, then this is the time to realign it. While the solution has not dried, you can still realign. Once the adhesive has been placed properly, use a squeegee to remove the bubbles. For the bottom and top of the iPhone, use your palm and fingers to smooth out the excess bubbles. If bubbles remain, wait between 10 to 15 minutes to smooth out the rest of them. Once you've finished, leave your iPhone overnight for solution to dry and Cella V to settle on your iPhone. Now enjoy using your iPhone safely, fully protected from scratches and exposure to electromagnetic radiation.